Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am Azal Ryan Radones of Shaton District 11. My task this evening is to share with you my speech entitled, A Day to Remember. Who can remember what Jesus made on the first day of creation? Yes, Jesus created light on the first day. What did Jesus make on the third day? Yes, the dry land and grass and flowers and trees. What did Jesus make on the fifth day? Yes, birds and fishes. What happened on the seventh day? Do you remember? Yes, God rested on the seventh day. The Bible says that He blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. That means He set it apart as a special holy day. He called it the Sabbath on the seventh day of creation. The Bible says that He blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. That means He set it apart as a special holy day. He called it the Sabbath. On the seventh day of creation, our world had its very first, first Sabbath. From the very beginning, God's law said that the seventh day of the week should, should be holy and special. Adam and Eve kept the Sabbath holy. Noah kept the Sabbath holy. Abraham kept the Sabbath holy. Moses' mother and father kept the Sabbath holy. But God's people, the children of Israel, became slaves in Egypt. Many of them forgot about God's law, and they forgot about the Sabbath. Moses grew to be a man. One day, God told Moses to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. Moses told Pharaoh that God wanted the children of Israel to leave Egypt. But Pharaoh likes to have slaves. He did not want the children of Israel to go. He thought God of Egypt was stronger than God of heaven. He thought the gods of Egypt were stronger than the God of heaven. Why should he obey God of heaven? He thought the gods of Egypt were stronger than the God of heaven. Why should he obey the God of heaven? He would not let the people go. God sent many unpleasant things called plagues to Pharaoh to show him that he was God. One of them was a plague of frogs. There were frogs everywhere, even in the food and in the beds. Another plague was of flies. Flies, flies everywhere. There were also plagues of sores and of hail and of grasshoppers. There were ten plagues in all. Pharaoh could not stop the plagues, but when Moses prayed to God, the plagues went away. Finally, Pharaoh got so tired of the plagues that he told Moses that the people could go. They took all their things, even their animals, and left Egypt. Everyone was so excited. They were free. They would not have to be slaves anymore. After several days, they came to the shores of Red Sea. The people were puzzled. How would they get across the sea? They didn't have any 
boats. Then they heard the sound of horses and chariots. Look, the people shouted, Pharaoh's soldiers are coming. They will take us back to Egypt. Maybe we'll, we'll even kill us. Don't be afraid, Moses told them. Stand still and see how God will save you. The Lord will fight for you. God sent big black cloud over the Egyptians. It, it was so dark, they could not see a thing. But the outside of the cloud was a beautiful bright light of the children of Israel. Then a strong wind began to blow. It blew path right through the sea. Go forward, Moses called. Go through the sea. The path stayed dry while all the people and their animals marched to, through the sea. When the children of Israel were all safe, on the other side, God lifted the clouds from the Egyptians. The soldiers saw the path in water. Quick, they called. Let's go after them. The soldiers drove down into the path with their chariots. But suddenly, the wind quit blowing. The other side of the water sea was a desert. There were no rivers. There were no gardens. Just sand and rocks and a hot blazing sun. The people got hungry. What are we going to eat? They asked Moses. Moses did not have any food to give them, but he knew God had an answer. What shall I do, Lord? He asked. God told Moses, Tell the people that in the morning they will be filled with bread. When the people woke up the next morning, they found little white things lying all over the ground. What were they? Someone tasted one. It was good. It tasted like a little cake made with honey. Everyone gathered all they could eat. They called this new food manna. The next morning, more manna came. Gather just what you need for each day, Moses told them. But some people tried to gather, gather enough manna for two days. They soon wished they had it. When they tried to keep all manna overnight, it got full of worms. It smelled terrible. On Friday, Moses said, Tomorrow is Sabbath. God does not not want you to work on Sabbath. Today, you must gather enough manna for two days. Most of them, people obeyed and gather extra manna on Friday. But some of the people said, Huh? If I try to keep my manna overnight, it will spoil. I'll gather my manna on Sabbath. On Sabbath morning, the people who had gathered extra manna looked at their manna. It was good. There were no worms. It hadn't spoiled. When the people who had not gathered extra manna went out to get their manna, they didn't find a single piece. Every week, God sent the same lesson of the manna. He wanted His people to understand the Sabbath was a special holy day. A little later, God gave his Ten Commandment law to the people. He wrote it with his own finger on piece of stone. He wrote it with his own finger on pieces of stone. One of their 
commandment talk about the Sabbath. Do you remember which one? Yes! The fourth commandment, there is remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall do labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, for in six days, days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Exodus 20 verse 8 to 11. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Exodus 20 verses 8 to 11. God gave us six days to do our work. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But the seventh day is not a day for work. It is a day to remember. A day to remember that God made the world and everything in it. A day to remember that God can create new clean hearts in each one of us did you know that jesus kept the sabbath when he was on earth the bible says that jesus went to synagogue or church on sabbath look for verse 16. jesus talked to the people about the sabbath he said the Sabbath was made for man. Mark 2 verse 27 He wanted everyone to, the, to understand that the Sabbath is a special, wonderful day to draw special close to God. He wanted everyone to understand that the Sabbath is a special, wonderful day to draw especially close to God. Even when Jesus died, he kept the Sabbath holy. Jesus died on Friday, the day when the people prepared for the Sabbath. The Bible calls it the preparation day. Jesus rested in the tomb during Sabbath. Then on the first day of week, Jesus rose from the grave. Today, when we kept the Sabbath holy, we were following in the, in the footsteps of Jesus. When we keep the Sabbath holy, we are obeying God's eternal law. How important is it to obey God's commandments. The answer is found in Revelation 22 verse 14. Say the words of this verse with me. B Blessed are they that do His commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. This verse says that a certain group of people are blessed who are they? You fill in the blank. Blessed are they that do his blank. You blessed are they that do his commandments. Let's say it together. Blessed are they that do his commandments. In this verse, Jesus promise, promises two very special things for those who do his commandments first that they may have right to the tree of
of life. Say it to me. That they may have right to the tree of life. Those who eat the fruit from this tree will never die. Even the leaves of this tree are special. They heal any disease. Where's the next blessing? And may enter in through the gates into the city. Here's the next blessing. And may enter in through the gates into the city. That the city of God in heaven. Say it with me. And may enter in through the gates into the city. Don't you want to be there? I know I do. This verse is a little bit longer. Now I think you are ready to say it with just a first letter of each word. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Revelation 22 verse 14. Very good. Now let's say it again. This time without any help on the screen. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Revelation 22 verse 14. Jesus says, If you love me, keep my commandments. John 14 verse 15. He did not say, If you love me, keep some of my commandments. He did not say, If you love me, keep most of my commandments. He said, If you love me, keep my commandments. Every one of them. If you love Jesus and if we want to live with Him forever, we will keep every one of His commandments. The fourth commandment says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The seventh day is the Sabbath. Many people have chosen not to obey this commandment. But that does not mean that it is no longer part of God's law. I have chosen to keep all of God's commandments, even the fourth one. The seventh day is a very special day to me. On Sabbath, I put away the work and worries of the rest of the week. On Sabbath, I go to church to worship Jesus and be with other people who love Him. On Sabbath, I also like to spend time enjoy, enjoying the beautiful things that Jesus made on Sabbath. I also like to spend time enjoying the beautiful things that Jesus made. I look forward to Sabbath each week. It is the best day of the week. I'm so thankful that Jesus gave us the Sabbath. How sad that so many have forgotten the very day that Jesus wants us, would you like to join me in keeping all the commandments? If so, raise your hand as we pray. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us your law of love. Thank you for making the Sabbath for us, Lord. You see the hands that are raised. We want to enter into the gates of your holy city. We want to eat the fruit from the tree of life. Please be with each person here tonight who has made the decision to keep every one of, of your
Commandments. 